I guess it's seven five. So we should start. Hi everyone, I am Iflak. So I'll be hosting today's meeting. So welcome to the third training session of Indic Culture Order Project. Uh, this meeting marks the transition of our work uh, from field work to uploading these uh, videos on commons. So I hope you all have enjoyed the field work. So I'll be sharing the slide with you. So the agenda of uh, today's meeting is uh, will be uh, getting your experiences, how you have worked over the field and uh, the challenges or what worked on the field, what worked well and what didn't work well. So that would be followed by a presentation about uh, how we are going to upload the videos that we captured during our field work, how we are going to upload that on commons. So this is the main uh, focus of today's meeting, how we are going to upload the video on common. So after that, we'll be heading how we can add categories to those videos and how we can categorize them in a proper manner. So that would be followed by a question answer session. So feel free to ask your questions if you have any questions about the pre presentation or about how we are going to add the categories to that. So let's head straight. So you can share your views to that uh, about the field work. You can share what you have gained in the field work. We will have two to three minutes for each team. So I will pass on the mic to you. Uh, can I start now? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, uh, I am Kishore Kumar from uh, uh, Mulki, uh, Mangalore. Uh, Kavita, uh, myself and uh, Vinoda, we went to field work and we met three persons this time. And uh, we collected around uh, about uh, two hours uh, more. Uh, I. Uh, 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 I collected uh, uh, some videos are 13 minutes, but uh, some uh, I collected within 10 minutes. Uh, we have more uh, field work for uh, uh, and collect materials uh, from the field. So I have uh, that. I will share uh, later. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kishore. Thank you for sharing your experience. So, anyone else who wants to go? Yeah, Sangram, go ahead, please. Can I share my screen also? I want to show one photograph. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, yes, Let's. I don't... Okay. Is it visible? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, he was some person. I was recording that video. Some little girl has clicked their photo. I have just one one photo only. <laughs> we are recording in things like this. So I had recorded a few things like uh, small things actually. I was talking to. actually I had to record some old folk songs I had recorded some but those are not folk songs actually after recording around 30 40 minutes of content I asked about the, those songs to Subhashis bhai he said those songs are not the folk songs because these are written around 100 uh, 
something 100 150 years ago only so we cannot consider those as folk songs but i had recorded those clips from someone and i have recorded a few things also uh, like some good content some means long content but some are small also around 40 45 seconds also because those old songs they are not remembering those songs like the woman she put her hand on his head on her head because she was remembering those things <laughs> so it was my experience from around i think four or five days i was doing that and even yesterday i have collected some um, songs actually some small songs that lady asked me not to capture the videos she asked me to capture the audio so i captured the audio only so i think she had sung two small songs some kandana is one thing so she sung those songs actually yes that's m- thank you sangram for sharing your experience so uh, we had uh, kashyap ji already in line before i allow sanjeev ji to go ahead this is the if you can add yeah. uh, hi everyone uh, so my name is kashyap from hyderabad so <laughs> i don't have no much great experience because uh, we supposed to do a very fantastic uh, uh, folklore activity uh, but uh, due to telangana elections and uh, uh, people are co- uh, most of the folks are quite busy and uh, we have a, our colleague uh, who is not able to like uh, uh, respond with in the particular time so as per plan b uh, i supposed to i mean i thought i could record uh, like a folk song especially focused for children right uh, so then i approached the school so again uh, I, i prepared and i went with the mic and everything uh, then school school super nicely yes, said yes and uh, the government uh, went to talk about the wikipedia kind of thing i mean i talk about public domain kind of thing uh, again principal i actually stopped like because i supposed to record video i want to take a bite of student saying that i don't have an objection to uh, record this video for a wikipedia commons even that means told uh, but i supposed to take it uh, the consent from a student as uh, a children right again uh, he said no 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 i mean because we didn't get a permission from their parents so it's, uh, we can we can't able to pro- proceed further uh, because that will be like a, and they bit said they both uploading their video in a, a public domain right uh, so i don't have anything again i come back and i ask my mother like somebody like uh, play the folk song what they remember they are the folk song children folk song but unfortunately they are not sung by children so just here for uh, what is the advice we can proceed we can proceed further uh, yeah yeah that makes sense uh, but two things i want to ensure that like uh, i mean especially like a uh, children when you're talking about the uh, folk song uh, in my language mother tongue called telugu hardly uh, around uh, four, four to five pop songs uh, i mean familiar with the uh, all the people like uh, there are two th- just two times but again uh, most of the songs will be around uh, less than a minute or less than three minutes right uh, so getting a 45 minutes uh, uh, i have to include the tiles and the uh, folk tales and everything uh but uh, anyway this uh, domain itself is very challenging uh, but while i'm researching that i come to like a couple of books uh, who's actually got nearly 10 15 songs about children i mean children folk song uh, but i need to find out a way uh, how to sing those songs because they are in text format so uh, i need your advice so i that's why i just putting in my problem yes thank you flak and thank you amber for great thank you kashyap ji for your amazing experience and we do uh, believe that there can be some problems with the field work yeah amrit if you want to take that question or suggestion yeah um yeah i saw the videos kashyap ji that you shared uh, initially i had seen only two three and uh, of course there is the issue of uh, you know consent when recording uh, you know people below the age of 18 so um yeah um we will be um, i think this is the announcement for the end of uh, the session but you know um, because it is relevant right now so uh, we'll be sharing a um, google form uh, again a survey form with all of you uh, in which we'll be asking questions about you know uh, in elaborate uh, elaboration about uh, your experiences uh, you know uh, the ups and downs 
of your experience on the field uh, uh, you are uh, obviously um, you know your advice and uh, your insights from the field work um, you know uh, they will be part of the learning and um, yeah uh, great work ashok ji on the videos that you have recorded so far um, you know uh, they were really uh, you know uh, well recorded and uh, congratulations on it we had a hand raised from sanjeev ji sanjeev ji please go ahead yeah thank you flak and amrit ji uh, uh, thank you for i mean like uh, giving us an opportunity to share our experience so yeah i visited uh, three districts uh, actually so the first one is saptari uh, my hometown and then you know, uh, another one was sunsari so uh, so first i i mean like recorded only one song in saptari and informed uh, people out there that we are doing this sort of a project we are collecting folk songs uh, and as some of the people the singers they were quite busy so we i went to sunsari and there uh, i found uh, a lady in, yeah, i mean like uh, with help of my uh, uh, friends and she, she was really good and she knew all the i mean like old folk songs so she sang i three or four songs for for us and when we returned back interestingly uh, the, the women uh, whom we had requested earlier uh, after they knew that i mean like we would be uploading all the folk songs in wiki media internet and we'll share the links with them they were really happy and then uh, they introduced us to some men as well who were really good singers i had never realized that even men would sing i mean like such beautiful songs songs of i mean like uh, love and everything so it was really nice uh, and i ended up uh, uh, collecting around like 15 songs and it it is more than like uh, 15 minutes and david g was in the meantime collecting songs from a uh, district called uh, parsa so now i'll request david ji to share his experience so and interestingly the songs from i mean like uh, persa to sunsari all the districts i mean like they are similar they, they tell the same sort of story uh, although i mean like people are i mean like so far apart so i was really uh, you know um, it was quite interesting to know that and i have already started uploading i have already started i mean like converted the videos into web b format and i have already uploaded one of them and already uploaded the second so i guess by the end of this week uh, i'll get done from my side now over to you david ji okay. hello everyone and thank you very much for giving this golden opportunity and yes surely i'm very excited i was very excited to see the date of the meeting because i am very excited to share the experience during the recording and uh, sure uh, when uh, um, i went to the people for the recording so firstly they asked me the different questions uh, why uh, what, for what purpose you are here and uh, first first uh, for a while i was a little bit uh, confused how do i introduce myself So even I asked a question to uh, Sanjeev sir also. How do I introduce myself? I have my own experience. I can make them satisfied. But is there some specific uh, idea to introduce through our uh, project? So yes, obviously I kept the name of our project, and they were all, all uh, they became very friendly, and they became very happy also, and they were very thankful and grateful to the organization to the project. that uh, this kinds of steps have been taken by this project so they were very friendly and uh, cooperate cooperate during the recording so mostly females were very excited to see to sing and yes uh, so i found that uh, the song music and the theme of the different district of uh, the tharu community uh, are same so of uh, sure that was the very good and uh, but i was uh, the people were saying that uh, this kinds of step should be taken more than 10 years ago or something or previously because most of the old people were passed away they were no more in this world also 
because uh, they knew very well but uh, even they were feeling that uh, they were regretting that uh, it this kind of step should be taken previously so that it could be more preserved uh, our treasure and uh, i came to know that uh, sorry i read that on uh, on our whatsapp messages that if i have some incredible content they have recorded so shortly i would like to share the uh historical landmarks that that is not the part of our folk folk story or uh, uh, folk song but uh, that uh, historical landmarks or the events uh, where people were sharing that uh, you should take some steps for this also because the history history in the different history that kinds of stories are never recorded so they requ requested me also they were very great person uh so they were requ uh, they requested me even that uh, to keep a step and how can we preserve this that the historical events were yeah during anglo nepal war during british and uh, even the some uh, story are uh, were from mughal during mughal mughal kingdom so different kinds of history uh, bravery or historic works were done by the people by the indigenous people but i didn't find that uh, no people were taken the interest to uh, keep record of that history that are even hidden and i think uh, they are dying that history records are dying so i request uh, if uh, something is there so we can take a step to preserve that also okay that much for now so we will i will share more later thank you david ji thank you for your wonderful experience and we will definitely get back to you regarding this historical sto uh, stories and since we are short of time we want to make it quick uh, i want to we have i guess two participants left if they want to add something please go ahead Hi everyone. My name is Priyanka and my experience was uh, quite <laughs> interesting. Actually, I call people at my home. Most of the uh, ladies I call that um, uh, them at my home and only one or two days I went to the field and that was my mama's place, my <laughs> maternal uncle's place. and there i recorded uh, that uh, some videos also so i recorded mostly about uh, uh, marriage songs these uh, birth songs and mostly in my language in ahirwati there were folk songs about a dialogue between like husband and wife and uh, 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 mother in law and daughter in law these kinds of uh, songs are there which i have recorded mm, if, uh, other than that uh, some like oh, other occasions also like uh, some small events where these folk songs are also sung uh, they are also recorded no uh, that was all i have thank you priyanka ji okay. it's really great to hear your experience and i do feel maternal home is full of experiences and we get a lot <laughs> to explore over there yeah we have at last rafi if you want to add something uh thanks a lot for passing the mic to me if luck and hi everyone yeah i think i have already talked about my experiences in the previous meetings because you know i have done our like teams uh, field visits uh, in advance because of some unavoidable circumstances so yeah our main field visit has been done and we have already uploaded 14 videos uh, you will find them uh, in the main category as a particular sub category and now we are trying to like uh, yeah there has been like a political unrest in bangladesh actually we are doing this from bangladesh 
So it's been very tough here, but they're trying to like uh, use their connections from all over the country to get some more songs uh, because our target was a bit high, higher than what we have got. Uh, so yeah, we are trying to get, and we have also received some good news from some of our friends that yeah, they will be able to get uh, the folk songs. And we have basically got uh, around 14 folk songs from uh, Garo, and Marma tribes from Bangladesh. Uh, these tribes, like uh, for example, Garo is uh, Garo people are in Bangladesh and India, and Marma or Mok people uh, are living in Bangladesh and Myanmar, and also some other parts of Thailand. And they are actually minority tribes in Bangladesh. So we have. Uh, got some uh, folk songs and the most interesting thing is uh, in this Garo and Marma villages there are only one or two people who actually know these songs and uh, most of the people have actually like uh, forgot their own mother language and they speak in Bangla or they also prefer to speak in English because Bangla and English are important to earn a bread and their mother language is not like uh, that useful uh, in their daily job or so on. So yeah, that was the update. And yeah, we're softly trying to like uh, get more folk songs in Bangla also. And uh, this is being tough because uh, there is political unrest here in Bangladesh because we have a national election in uh, next January. And so what is happening there? So that's update from Bangladesh. Thank you, Rafi, for giving this update and best of luck for collecting more folk songs. So yeah, at last I want to share the one of the videos from Arya ma'am because they could not join. So I need to share one of the videos. Can you hear it? Yes. Arya ma'am shared. I could not play it all because we are short of time. And now I want to uh, give the mic to Amrit and so that she can present their presentation. Um, thank you, Flag. Yeah, we have got about half an hour left. So let's rush along. <laughs> um, next slide, please. Yeah. So, um, I'm sure that many of you are already familiar with the, you know, you have an idea of what the process of uploading uh, your files, uh, that is either pictures or videos, audios, uh, whatever you want to upload. Um, yeah. it, so uh, basically, um, the video files that we record, they're usually in the MP4 format, right? 
but uh, the issue is that commons accepts only webm format so um, there are two ways of uh, uh, doing that either it can be automatic or manual depending on which method you choose which website you go to and the second thing uh, that you need to know is that uh, the license under which you will share uh, you should share is the creative commons attribution share alike 4.0 uh, that is the most preferred license usually then and then it comes uh, entering metadata during the upload process so uh, you do not simply have to upload you will have to uh, you know include uh, details like uh, the name obviously you will have to choose a name for the video that you are recording for example there are several songs uh, which you might or might not have know the title of so you know uh, of course go through each video and decide what the title you want to keep um, your know, different titles for them uh, then a bit of description uh, the date and uh, yeah category um, um, and of course a license etc so uh, we'll go into more detail in the coming uh, um, slides yeah and then comes the two methods of uploading videos one is um, either you take the mp4 videos and change their format from mp4 to webm and it can be done via uh, you know free there are a lot of free software uh, uh, you know, uh, all over the internet so you can you know if you just go and search mp4 to webm conversion you will get a lot of uh, websites which let you convert the videos for free uh, but the issue is some of them uh, you know if the, your file is larger than maybe uh, say 500 mb then you need a paid version of that uh, you know um, yeah that software or if you have upload um, say you have converted five files in a day then you will need uh, again you will have to pay to upload uh, you know convert more files so uh, yeah you will have to check and see which um, converter works for you which uh, software website works for you so one some of the suggestions are uh, for you know these conversions are video to commons uh, sorry, not video to comments, video converter.com and open shot. Open shot is brilliant because um, um, it does not uh, downgrade the quality of your uh, files, the video files. Usually, when you use free software like video dash converter, uh, it will usually downgrade, it will um, downsize the videos and it will obviously impact the quality of the video. So, uh, try and uh, you know, if you are going to use that uh, indirect method. Uh, converting video then uploading and on comments then uh, try and uh, you know utilize open shot for converting the video uh, converting the format of the video the second one is directly via video to comments so video to comments uh, basically is a uh, you know um, tool uh, you can go there uh, you have to be logged in to comments uh, or you know yeah you have to log in to comments to use it so basically you will go to the website um, and we have the next slide please Yeah, so, yeah, I think if like I should present from here because I'll also have to show how to upload videos, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, so uh, let me do that. Uh, sorry for the interruption, just a second. Yeah, we are here, uploading media, next slide. So yeah, uh, you will just simply go to um, video to comments um, or here is the link. We will be sharing these details. We will be sharing basically the PP, PPT as well with you. So you, you have, you know, a clear um, uh, um, guide sort of to help you. So yeah, you go to video to comments, click on it. Um, it will appear like this. That is login to Wikimedia Commons. So you click on this takes you to Wikimedia Commons. You allow it to interact with pages and uh, media, etc. So now um, it will appear like this. The We are at the this page. So um, yeah, these one will not show if you haven't uploaded anything else. Um, basically, this add task button, you click on this. So either you can enter the AR URL or upload a file. I'll upload a file which is in my gallery so i select that and i go for this file uh, which i know i want to upload so yeah it will um, process a bit it's uploading and then will come the next phase so yeah now 
you um, go down, then on the green, that is next button. Now, here is your chance to rename the file, rename the video file and put the metadata in here. So um, I'll have a listen to what the video is. There are several videos I've got to upload, so I'll have to listen to it, what the name is. So let me play. Yeah, so I will rename it. I'll remove the name which is already appearing there, video something. And I put folk song. So uh that Yeah, yeah. Can you are you still presenting or are you presenting the video? Oh, sorry. Yeah. sorry. Sorry, sorry, oh, sorry. sorry. I did not the... switch to this tab. Mm -hmm. I'll have to do it again. OK, um, let's just go back. This sets us a few steps back. Sorry, so much. So sorry. Um, just uh, let's, let's uh, work with another file. OK. So uh, yeah, now, if you uh, click on that link, it will take you to uh, this place. Uh, it will uh, look like this. Um, you know, you will have to log in. Uh, you will have to uh, allow it to access your comments. And basically, it will take you here. Then you click on the green um, uh, this um, button, add task. Then uh, you can upload a file. Click on upload a file, or you can enter URL. Um, um, so I'll choose upload a file and uh, select the video that I want to upload from mp4 so select it and now it is uh, processing now it will take a few seconds only since it's uh, barely three or five minutes long video so now uh, we can see that the name is appearing there that means the video is in process we go down and we click click on next now, um, yeah, I was, as I was saying here, uh, you can see the file name is appearing like this. So you remove it and you put an appropriate name for the file because it will appear later on comments as well. So the name of uh, this folk song is Bhagata Ke Engna. Uh, it's an Angika folk song. So um, yeah, I put the name of the um, yeah uh, name of the song then Angika folk song right and then uh, there is um, this um, uh, all the metadata is here be below that so in description I can put the same thing I can copy and paste from here then date uh, it will begin uh, it, you'll have to type the date that on um, that you're uh, yeah, uh, done uploading it on so first the name of the year 2023 then um, the month then the date um, yeah so it's like this and then uh, you'll have to enter source as well source if it is your own if, you, if it is your or the team uh, team's video then you put own right so that means that it's not uh, someone else's then author may you um, in author you include your username wikimedia name so my username is uh, amrit sufi so i just put user like that and then amrit sufi then pipe then again amrit sufi and then close bracket so um don't worry if you're not familiar with uh, these uh, i know it's a bit complicated we'll share uh, the template with you which you can you know look at and modify according to your username the name of the song etc so you can look at that and then um, below that, um, permission, other words, and other fields we can leave for now. We go to uh, license header. So here, here we put in the license uh, that we want this uh, video to be under. I want it to be under the license uh, uh, CC uh, by SA 4.0. So um, I go to uh, wait. Uh, I'll have to copy um, that one. Wait. Even I don't know how to write it over there. Uh, so yeah, uh, curly bracket self CC by SA 4.0 curly bracket. Okay, so it will be like this. So 
self cc by sa zero. I guess um, that is it. Yeah. So now uh, curly bracket close. Okay. So yeah, that's it. And um, category, you can also enter category. Um, uh, no. You know, if you know, if you're familiar that uh, with the fact that there is already a category that you want to put it and put it over there. Otherwise, you can add category uh, later as Sangram will be demonstrating later. So yeah, um, now we are good to go to the next step. So uh, here, once again, you have a chance to look at what you have entered, the name of the uh, file and the metadata. Check it once again. Um, so. Date, so uh, date, source, author, um, license, category, everything is fine. So I will go ahead and click on confirm. Now it is uploading. So uh, it takes only a few minutes to upload from comments directly, uh, sorry, from uh, video to comments. Um, it takes only a few minutes. It is the fastest method and also it does not. Um, uh, compromise with the size or the quality of your videos. So yeah, the most recommended method. Um, let's hope, let's see how long this takes to upload. Okay. In the meanwhile, um, if you have got fast enough internet while I you know one of the videos is uploading and if you think that uploading another video on the same page wouldn't hamper uh, the previous one because sometimes if the internet is weak uh, then um, it can obviously um, you know, uh, cause issues with the file already being uploaded so um, in case you have good internet then add task and add another video the same process will follow you uh, you click on upload a file uh, choose a file uh, let it process select the name put in the metadata confirm and let it upload so here we see that yeah it has been uploaded to three percent uh, we don't have a lot of time so in the meanwhile while it is uploading uh, has anyone raised a hand yeah i see a hand from sangram sangram please you yeah. want to add something Ah, okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I, I've also noticed that, that it was working in the background. It takes a lot of time to upload. So yeah. Uh, thank you for your input, Sangram. While uh, everyone is you know doing it, keep it that, that in mind that it will be, uh, keep that window open to ensure that the process is false. doesn't take a long time. Yeah. So uh, that is method one the recommended method that is video to comments as simple as that um, you know uh, once you have uploaded one or two videos if you're entirely new to it it will take you just uh, you know a few uh, times to get accustomed to it and if you have any issues of course we are here to help you with it so um 13 it's at 13 percent right now uh, i'll go back to the next part of uh, the uh, i'll go go to the next part of the presentation to ensure that we are able to finish it on time. So yeah, um, these as you can see that uh, we have put screenshots in the presentation, which you will be able to access later. So you can see uh, one by one. Let me go back to the beginning. So yeah, here uh, is the um, link to the video to comments page where you can um, you know you can just click and access what the main page looks like. So this will be the. Uh, first screen after you have you know allowed it to interact with comments uh, give it give, given it permission second um uh, yeah looks like this second one would be after the file has been uploaded so the name is appearing like this you click on next so the whole process uh, is in here in screenshots 
So you can look at it if anything is confusing to you. Here, um, if Lark has uh, um, clarified that, here, uh, for example, you put in a new name, the name of the uploading file, and um, then the metadata for which we'll be sharing the details later as well. So yeah, this is what will happen after everything has been done. And metadata here, the details, we have put the details here. So uh, while you are um, working on, you know, while you're using video to comments, when you have to put the metadata, you can look at this, uh, what the description should be like, um, the date, um, source, um, username. Uh, also, uh, yeah, of course, look at your username, key, remain uh, logged in, in comments. Category, uh, I am aware that um, there is a category on comments called Longika Folklore. So I, uh, I can put that over here, in there. So, uh, but automatically the category called, um, I think video to comments or something similar to that appears on there. So you can let that also remain. Uh, and as I said before as well, that you can add the um, new categories uh, manually later. Then uh, we come to the method B, uh, the indirect method that is converting the format from MP4 to WebM and using uh, free software, which are uh, plenty of free and paid software online, which can be used to do it, uh, do this. Um, and you might not require it since a video to comments is running quite smoothly these days. Um, it will be running smoothly. So this method would not be required, but for the sake of information, for the sake of those who, uh, you know, those who need it, uh, those who prefer it, uh, we'll be doing a small demonstration. So yeah. I prefer this website called video-converter.com to change the format from MP4 to WebM. So let's go there. So it looks like this. And most uh, video conversion uh, uh, websites look like this. So you go here, up, open file. That means you select the file that you want to convert. You can, you can also go to Google Drive, but then you will have to give it access to your Google Drive or uh, Dropbox, etc. So I'll um, select a video. Right, and then um, I'll also select the format that I want it converted into. So it was automatically on uh, MP4. Now I've selected WebM. Then go to the third part that is convert. Now it will convert. Someone uh, is saying something. I see a hand from Priyanka. Yeah, Priyanka. Yeah, Priyanka you can. Oh, sorry. I thought <laughs> I again forgot to switch my tab to. Uh, yeah, Amrit. I can't see. That's why I. Yeah. yeah thank you. Um, so sorry. I'm a bit forgetful today. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's share this tab with you. So it's looking like this currently. Let's stop it. Let's begin. Uh, do this from the beginning. So uh, when you uh, click on that uh, video to comments, it will take you here. So this um, this is what usually any free uh, uh, video format converter website looks like. Uh, or these are the steps that are, you have to follow in uh, all, almost all video conversion websites. So the first step is here, open file. So yeah, you select open file. And then you choose the video that you want to convert. I want to uh, convert this video. I, or, you know, either from your laptop or from phone. And uh, usually um, MP4 will be selected automatically. So you have to change it to WebM because I just uh, changed to WebM. That's why it's appearing. It should, uh, the format that you want to convert, you should click on that. And then go to the third step that is convert. Click on that. And it will begin converting to WebM. So it will, um, yeah, it looks like it won't take a lot, lot of time. And uh, yeah, the video to comments uh, method there, 51% uh, of the file has been processed already. And here also uh, almost done. The thing is uh, with, um, when you convert from MP4 to WebM using, uh, you know, going on any website, you will have to first convert, download it, and then upload on comments. When you use video to comments, your files, once processed here, once uploaded and processed, they are already on comments. You don't have to do anything additional. You don't have to go on uh, you know, uh, the main page and upload it over there. So here, um, 
the B method, second method, MP4 to WebM conversion method. Here, the file has been, um, yeah, is now ready to download. I click on it. It will appear in my downloads. Okay. So, if you are ad adopting this method, then uh, let me show what comes next. The file has, I have downloaded the file from there, right? Now, the next step, we will have to uh, go to Commons main page. You go to Wikimedia Commons main uh, home page, right? And you will find the upload button. You will have to click on that. And then uh, th uh, after the file has been uploaded over there, you will have to choose a few, you will have to select a few things. For example, uh, this is the first thing that will be asked to select. That is whether it is your own work or someone else's work, because uh, all of you have recorded on your own. You select, this is my own work and anyone is free to use it. And after selecting this, you uh, go to next. Second will be, uh, which license do you want to publish it under? So uh, I recommend that you select the third option that is Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4A, the longest one. Then go to next and your file will be uploaded and you will have to enter all the details that you entered um, you know, in video to Commons. Uh, here automatically one by one. So it is the tedious, the longer process. Um, but yeah, that is there. So let me show you this live. Um, what it uh, looks like. Let me share uh, this tab. So here we are at commons.wikimedia.org. You enter that, you will go to its main page. I want to upload something. I go to my downloads after selecting media files to share. I go to uh, downloads. Here it is appearing. I select it. And yeah, it will um, take almost a minute to upload. Yeah, these are the two, two methods, um, whichever works for you. Uh, I think I've already emphasized a lot of time which one, um, is, you know, which one has what pros and cons. So I think, yeah, um, that is um, it from my side for today. And um, we had um, kept aside a few minutes of break, but since there's only eight minutes left um, to, you uh, know, an hour completing, um, if you have any questions, uh, you can go ahead right now. And we have got a few minutes for that. And then we have a few announcements. And um, yeah, after, uh, sorry. Yeah, after questions, uh, Sangram has to um, yeah do a bit of presentation on uh, how to add metadata. So yeah, if you have any questions so far, please go ahead. Yeah, David. Yes, David. So while uploading the file, uh, uploading the video, can I upload the video through the mobile or we need the laptop only or computer? No, uh, phone will also work. Okay. And so one, two more questions. So when we're uploading the uh, video, something if I want to edit later, that once I edited or uh, uploaded, that will be the final upload, or I, I can edit anytime. Yeah, uh, there is a out. website called um, um, this video cut tool, but sometimes it works. Sometimes for me, uh, I find it a bit difficult. So I would recommend that you do the edit uh, before because usually it's uh, it can get complicated to uh, edit it later. Okay, and so final question. Uh, so while uh, so uh, uploading the video, should we describe something more in detail about the song, about the video or something? Or shortly yes, definitely. The title? definitely. In the description where I just pasted the, you saw that I just pasted the name of the folk song, right? In the description, uh, you can mention about the folk song, whatever details you want, in how many words you want, you just mention it there. Okay. Okay. That much. Thank you. Sure. Um, yeah, Kavitaji, please. A video to comments, are we need to type in Google itself or is it available on uh, Commons Wikipedia? 
yeah you will have to type it separately i think uh, yeah uh, and uh, we have put the link in the uh, the uh, direct link which will take you to its main uh, page in the slides so you just go there and you know just type it uh, yeah sangram has shared it here as well so you you can keep it you know the group like this will go is this stuff then yeah it will take you directly to the uh, website from where you can um, begin uh, you know uploading your files link please uh, send it to the group yeah yeah i will send it thank you thank you okay um so i'm sure that there will be questions when once be, everyone begins uploading their files there might be a bit of complication or any question that you have uh, please feel free to ask and um, because we have a bit of scarcity of time we are running um, uh, yeah, late uh, i would invite sangram now to go ahead with uh, his presentation on creating categories on commons on the files that you have uploaded sangram please go ahead hello everyone uh, yes i need to share my screen actually and uh, while sangram is setting up i um, yeah nitesh is also here she is um, sorry i think i can't unmute my uh, mute, mute myself now yeah please um, yeah after this i'll after you have done <laughs> i'll go ahead with whatever to say okay uh, so here is the video So it's uploaded by Amrit. So we need to category add categories. After uploading, you can see this video like this. You can upload the category below this link. Say so I uploaded two categories: Angika folklore and folklore wiki tongue accelerator. Uh, can I add the category new category to it? Definitely, please. Go okay. Ahead. Let me find that category first. Oh yes, there is a category called media uploaded as a part of Indic oral language, sorry, oral culture, two thousand twenty-three twenty-four. I can add by add through this by clicking the plus icon because I think I have added some gadget feature for this, or else you can directly edit this through here under at the top and you can add it as a category then paste that link media uploaded as a part of indic oral culture 2023-24 then you can save it it's publish changes it will be added the category will be added here and once you click that you can check that this tab will be showing like this there are four videos and one sub category also and if you have added that gadget uh, i forgot that process actually you can add anything if i check some other video okay let's say about this i can add directly from here by clicking on this plus button and paste it here sorry this one it will work at same and if we refresh this it will show four files actually and one sub category i think it's the process to add the category only and if we talking about the metadata then you can add the english caption here your local language caption here for me it's showing english hindi and odia uh, you can add your languages uh, so you can uh, means anybody can search through this if the title is different means there are some notable person you can add their names also through uh, in english because if someone is searching through their name they can 
find those videos also and for summary you can add description here and you can add the description in different languages also uh, means there is a different process for that uh, we will share that uh, you can directly add descriptions through different things uh, since it I don't know much about this file uh, so I can show you one of my file actually I have uploaded this file I have added this description in English and Odia also the caption in both English and Odia if you want to add your description in two languages you can use this Calibra says en pipe one equal to then the description in English then Calibra says end then same Calibra says start for language code Odia it's or pipe one equal to description in Odia and similarly you can add the description in Hindi one equal to description in Hindi please if you can write then you can add this description then you can save that so uh, this is the small part of adding categories and you can add those categories as I had added this song because this is a Kendra music and there is a separate category for Kendra and videos from 2000 videos of 2023 from Odisha there is a different category you can choose your categories uh, as you wish I think that's all from hmm. my side Sangram sorry uh, for interrupting yeah uh, could you also demonstrate a bit on uh, how to create new categories for example you know there are categories of folk songs like conversational folk songs right dialogue okay. okay i will show you adding a category uh, because you can add your own category also uh, i have added this with my name since it's not here so it will show in red link and if you can click on that link and create this category I'll keep with this and I will save it there is a new category added to it if I open this video now I can see this category here so by this process you can add your own category and before creating a new category you can check uh, twice thrice for uh, duplicate values because if it is there it will show if there is this means different in spelling or something like that it might cause a new category so if means you can re um, check that before creating the new category is there anything i left ah uh, no thank you so much okay okay thank you sangram for um, that very informative demonstration on how to uh, add categories and how to create new categories <coughs> um, that concludes our uh, session today and um, before uh, we close our session today, we have a guest here, that is uh, Nitesh Gill, who is the advisor on this project. Before this project as well, she has worked on uh, oral culture projects with me. She ha we have co-created the Indic Oral Culture Project together. Uh, the Indic or sorry, the um, Oral Culture Transcription Toolkit together. And um, uh, she also worked with me on a needs assessment project for documentation and revitalization of Indic languages. And uh, yeah, um, uh, Nitesh, if you would like to say a few words to the participants. Thank you. Thank you so much, Amrit. Hello, everyone. Uh, I think uh, I know most of the participants here. Uh, so yeah, thank you for inviting me here, Amrit. And uh, so sorry for joining you late today. From the next time, I will try to join uh, like on time.
and uh, i'm really glad to be here and uh, i'm really glad i will work with you all uh, again and uh, as amrit already uh, like mentioned that amrit and i uh, uh, d- uh, done these two projects uh, uh, like uh, early uh, these projects and uh, now we are going to uh, do this uh, again together and hopefully uh, like uh, from uh, next session i will also uh, try to join you and uh, we will try to bring new more things here and uh, we will try to do something new uh, and uh, yeah thank you so much uh, maybe we are over time and we can talk more after um, like next week we already have session right so yeah yes yeah. thank you so much amrit and uh, today's session was really amazing and uh, i also forgot a few things and uh, thanks for reminding me that thank you so much thank you so much itesh for being here with us and for uh, you know giving us your company and and the future as well Very looking forward to it and yeah that brings us to our announcements uh, if luck please if you would like to go ahead yeah sure and thanks this the for being here it was really amazing to see you here so the announcement for uh, next week is that we'll be having our meeting on next friday and also we'll be sharing a survey form with you in which you have to fill uh, that would encompass uh, what worked well during the field work and what didn't work well so the last thing uh, we are encouraging you all to keep the bills and the receipts that you already have and kindly share those bills with us yeah yeah and um, yeah and also i wanted to inform that uh, uh, we ca- will also be uh, you know within the reimbursement we also have uh, some uh, reserved for uh, internet so if any of you need good quality internet better internet and you want to uh, recharge a internet pack or get uh, wifi for a month then um, please uh, go ahead and just keep the bills with you as if i said so uh, yeah um kavita ji uh, have you uh, raised a hand do you want to ask a question Yes, just now I did it la- that time to ask about video video to comments. Okay, still showing. That's why. So, like, uh, what we need to do, we need to send the bill. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll be sharing ah uh, the format with you. Ah, uh, like we will be sharing a few documents with you, where ah uh, you know with all the required details. So ah uh, there you can uh, send us a de- de- uh, an expenditure details over there. Thank you so much. The nice session it was. Thank you so much, and thank you everyone uh, for uh, uh, sharing your experiences on the field. It was so enlightening and you know uh, heartwarming um, from various parts of India and uh, Nepal and Bangladesh. It's you know uh, so good to see what uh, you know uh, uh, that all of you have achieved uh, during the field work, and so excited for the coming phases. and thank you for um staying here over time 10 uh, almost 10 year, uh, minutes over time and see you next week thank you thank you amrit thank you bye thank you bye bye thank you singram thank you thank you nitesh yeah, bye bye before we leave bye bye oh and now you can see me बाय संग्राम बाय अच्छे लग रहे हो संग्राम अरे माइक मेरा मुंह थोड़ा खा रहा है ओके बाय 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 बाय